Our 27 December, Talkeetna has attracted women to its mostly male town with a bachelor's auction and ball. And as Channel 2's Sean Dugan reports, in tonight's Assignment Alaska, the Talkeetna Bachelor's Ball is still a big hit with both the lonely, the lonely bachelors and the ladies who seek them out. I see like a hundred beautiful women here. Oh, yeah, they're awesome. Talkeetna. It's scary. It's usually a place populated by more men. And women. We want men! We want men! But nothing is normal about this night. They came out of the woodwork. This is the first time we've ever been outnumbered. I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not that anyone's complaining. This is as good as it gets around here. Where's Jeff at? Because tonight, now nerves come up. Great. There is a big demand. Come on up, Jeff! For Talkeetan Bachelors. <laughs> Forty-five men from all walks of life are on display 61, and on sale for charity. Do you want to switch places with me? It's a Talkeetna Bachelor auction and ball. So for seven dollars, and if one gets away, one twenty-five. No bother tonight. Two forty-five. Come on. It's a target-rich environment. And the guys are only happy to oblige. In this room, crowd favorites are not in short supply. Where's the airport? Nan Llewellyn and her friend. Began their quest hours ago on the streets of Talkeetna, where they prove why Alaska men like their women to know how to handle themselves Put your back into it. in the great outdoors. Alrighty. Especially for guys yeah. that aren't yet sourdough. You can see all the women do and what they do up here, because I have no idea. So it would be good to have a woman that can do what I can't do. Nan has her own matchmaker. We're gonna buy him husbands. Like we're not leaving here without one for him. But tonight, having a matchmaker can be a dangerous thing. Even with her friend's help, Nan gets her man. If you go next year, be careful. While the odds are good, you'll find a friend. As they say here, the goods could be odd. Sean Dugan, Channel 2 News. Uh, very funny, very funny. Very true, very funny, though. The only obligations the men must honor to women that they win um, is a drink and a dance after the auction is over. Even still, the event raised more than $9,000 that will be split between the local health clinic and various women's charities. Meg, you're single. Why didn't you grab your checkbook and head on up the road, girl? <laughs> Uh, of course, I've moved on to Canadians. Canadians. Okay, good. <laughs> Not trying to.